All right. Welcome back, everyone, from the Thanksgiving weekend. Hope everyone had a great time with family and friends. Um, and now we're back. Last month of the year. We're in the last final stretch of the year. So let's kick off December with a new workflow that will um, automate content generation for WordPress. Okay. So what we're doing here is um, we're going to use OpenAI to generate a blog post based on the keywords, the keywords, the number of chapters that you would like for the blog post as well as the maximum number of words you'd want to generate for that blog post and before we move on i just want to point out that this original workflow was created by um, a gentleman by the name of julio who is actually a product designer at NADN. And this is something that he created about eight months ago, but I've modified this workflow to one work with the new language models available from OpenAI, as well as replacing the image generator. Um, his model, his version was using Dolly, but I've actually updated this to use Leonardo.ai. Also, I've added some image prompting features that will help you to generate better image prompts, uh, hopefully with better results. And what this does is, again, it will go um, take the input from the triggers in this section of the workflow and then go all the way from content generation to posting a draft on your WordPress website and then um, including that featured image as part of that post. All right, so here we go. Let's jump in and get started with our first workflow for December. So let's look at how we're going to trigger this workflow. There are multiple ways to trigger a workflow within N8N. And here right now, as you can see, this is set to use a manual trigger and I've set the manual fields and this is my, primarily for um, me generating the workflow. But also if you didn't want to use some of these other triggers, you can just set this data manually where here you put the keyword for the blog post, the number of chapters, the maximum number of words that you'd want and the WordPress URL for your website or WordPress instance. So I'm using the manual setting. Uh, I also added a Google Sheets trigger where if you had a Google Sheet that you're organizing the blog posts in, and if you know you set a certain status in that Google Sheet, you can trigger it that way. Or you can use the form trigger within that's available within N8N. And this the way this works is if you um, use this trigger, you basically create a form page. And, you, and, you, and I'll show you right here. You can see here that this form is any input that goes into this form goes straight into that workflow. So you can add in the keywords, the number of chapters that you want, and then again, the maximum number of words. Once you submit that, that will trigger this workflow um, and get everything started. So um, what we're doing next is we're inserting the settings again <clears throat> that the input is either from the manual trigger or from the form trigger so just getting everything ready then we create the post title and structure um, again this is using OpenAI so uh, the model was updated to use 4.0 the prompt pretty much remains as is okay I won't go through this prompt you guys can take a look at that in the template once it's posted which I will do. And the link to that, this workflow template is in the descriptions. So check that out if you want to try this workflow out. There's some um, data checking where we're going to make sure the results from OpenAI match our parameters. Then we're going to split out the chapters. And then we have another OpenAI trigger or node that will write out the rest of the chapters, right? So if you had stated that you wanted four chapters, this will actually split that up and write those chapters accordingly. 
Okay, then we're going to merge the chapters, the titles, and then finally put it all together using a, using a code node. And then here on the post to WordPress, this is using the WordPress node. This will take the title, take the content, and create a draft. There's multiple options here. If you want to go straight to publishing the post, you can, but I would advise against that. So you have a chance to you know, review the post before it's finally published. You can set additional settings here, either tags, categories, whatever you want to add in that word post, I would suggest doing that here in this node. For our purposes, this is just creating a draft on our WordPress instance. And then <clears throat> what we're doing next is for the featured image of the, that blog post, we're going to use OpenAI to enhance the image prompt so this what it's doing basically is saying hey here's a title here's a content of the wordpress post you know give me a image prompt right and include um some additional information regarding guidelines etc and it will take that prompt it will send this back to leonardo to do another image prompt enhancement and then ultimately generate that image, download the image and upload it back to your WordPress instance and set that featured image for the blog post. Okay, so that's really what this workflow is about is using AI to generate content, to generate an image and get a WordPress draft ready for you on the website. This works pretty good. I've tested it out. So again, if you'd want to automate your WordPress content generation. Check out this workflow. The link is in the description. And let me know if you have any questions, comments, suggestions.